What's good, we're back in this thing. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you the three simple steps that I follow when color grading to make sure your footage is looking. And if you're new here, my name is Justin Odisho. And we're just gonna be going through and showing you all the sauce. Look, I didn't go to school for color grading. I don't know all the formulas and whatnot to make sure that everything looks perfect. I just know how to color grade footage. I know how to take bad looking footage and turn it to good looking footage. Honestly, with creative stuff, I think just doing it by eye and teaching you techniques and how to do something and make it better are the way to go, so stick around. Before we get too far in the video, I just dropped an Essentials All-in-One Bundle. It comes with effects and transition pack, a LUT pack, and also a sound effects pack that I worked on with A.O. Dusen. If you've seen a music video with some good sound design, chances are he probably worked on it. So if you're interested in the bundle and want to support the channel, I'll have it linked down below. But let's get in the video. All right, so the first step, a little boring, but make sure that you correct your footage. Because if you don't have a good baseline before you start grading, it's just going to look all wonky. It's not going to look good. And by the time you get to the final steps of color grading, it's just not going to be what you want. So I chose some footage that isn't actually ideal. Like it's not perfectly shot. It's a little under exposed and the shadows are too dark because I know a lot of times when you're out there shooting can't expose everything perfectly if you're running gunning you don't have the right light set up so I just kind of tried to do a real life case scenario here so what I would do to start off is go to the Lumetri color tab you go to basic corrections if you don't see the Lumetri color tab you know where to find it up here window Lumetri color it'll pop up somewhere on your screen and real quick if you're not already shooting raw or flat on your camera be sure to be doing that if you don't know what that means do a quick google search anyways I noticed in this footage the blacks and the shadows are way too dark and when we start adding contrast back in it's going to be you know we're just going to lose a lot of data here we'd probably even lose the shadows in his face i'm going to bring up the blacks a little bit the shadows i'm going to bring up overall as well the highlights are a little overexposed here in the sun not a big deal but i'm just going to bring them down a little bit as well as the overall exposure i'm going to bring up so now we can see if we toggle that on and off we kind of have a little bit more data here and it might look grainy or gray right now but that's when you shoot flat that's kind of how you want it to look right until you start color grading. And then I'm gonna go to the effects tab, just rename that to correction real quick. That way we have two separate layers. So now we can actually go up here to where it says correction and just click add Lumetri color effect. It's just gonna add another Lumetri color. That way we can work on this, have this separate. So now that we've corrected the footage, it might take a little bit of practice to kind of know exactly what you need to tweak. If it's looking too dark, it's probably a little bit underexposed and the shadows might be a little too dark. If it's looking too bright, it might be a little bit overexposed. You have to bring down the exposure and the highlights, but just use your eyeballs. It's honestly not that hard once you've done it a few times. And now the next step and the step that people probably struggle with the most when they start shooting raw or flat for the first time. They just don't add the contrast back in. This step is basically just trying to get the footage to look like it was coming out of the camera with no picture profile shot on it. Now, if you do struggle with this step, I do have a LUT in my new LUT pack that's called Enhance. You can go ahead and go to Creative, go to Browse and import it from the pack. There's over 12 LUTs. They're just the essentials. They're gonna look good on all your footage, but the Enhance LUT itself is basically just gonna add that contrast back in and make it look perfect. So if you shoot flat, you shoot raw, and you're having a hard time, that will be really helpful. But I'll show you how to do it without using the LUT. So the first step is to go to basic correction. And now we just wanna add some contrast back in. So we're adding the contrast back in, bringing the blacks down a little bit, bring the shadows down. You basically just wanna add, just tweak it so it has some more contrast back in. I like to go to the curve section and add three dots. Top dot's gonna be representing the highlights. So in our case for our footage, the sky, the sun, the middle part is gonna be the midtones. So probably street back here, the background a little bit and maybe up here on top of the car and then the shadows is going to be the darker parts of your image so for our case the car door this part here in the front side of his body we're going to bring down the shadows a little bit just adding that black back in as well as bringing up the highlights and we can even for this case bring back in the mid-tones a little bit and maybe a little bit less in the shadows. Now we got our footage looking pretty much all the way there. There's still a little few tweaks that we can do, but we need to add in some actual color grading, kind of give the stylized look to the footage. And this is the part that definitely takes the most practice. If you don't know color science, you don't know. And if you haven't color graded before, use Lightroom. It is hard to get these looks that actually look good. And this is where I got the sauce for you guys. Honestly, I wish I would've known about this earlier, but there's an option in Premiere Pro to go to curves, wheel, and match. And you can actually borrow colors from other music videos or other movies or wherever you really like color. And you can even do it from a picture. What I like to do personally, I like the film look. I think it's one of my favorite looks. So there's a website called film-grab.com. And on the website, they just have a bunch of films. I think they have like over 50 pages of films. And then inside you can, you know, you find a color grade that you like, if you like this one. And then they have a bunch of stills from the film itself and you can find one that you like the colors on. Try to find something that's kind of matching your footage. It doesn't have to directly match it. I already went ahead and chose one that I think I like. So then what you wanna do is drag that still image into your timeline, go to comparison view here. You can see wherever you put it in on your timeline, you can see we're right around 39 seconds. So just find the scrub bar over here and make sure it's hovering over your still image on the left-hand side and then your current image on the right side. So it's gonna be the reference and the current. And then make sure to select back onto the footage you're actually color grading. So for our case, the sunset clip and then click apply match. It's gonna analyze depending on your footage, 
everything. It might take a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the comparison view. We can see we have to do some tweaking, but it did borrow a lot of the colors. When you're learning how to color grade, it's really helpful because you get to see where they're actually adding color in. So you can see in the midtones, they added some orange and in the highlights they added some yellows and orange and kind of with the shadows as well. So we're going to bring up the shadows just a bit and maybe bring the midtones back in a little bit towards the center because the center is going to be basically no grading at all. And you can do this with basically any still image to kind of borrow colors. And it's not going to always match the image you're trying to replicate perfectly, but it definitely does help sometimes if you're having a hard time color grading, it can at least teach you kind of where the colors are being moved at. And I personally think it's really, really helpful. And now this is like one of the last steps I like doing if you want to sauce it up a little bit more. This kind of goes up past color grading, but it does stylize your footage. So in my new essentials pack, I actually have under the effects pack, I have this thing called film halogens. Halation. If you duplicate your footage and drag that to the top clip, you can see now we have that halations kind of similar to how you see the lights are reflecting here and you can kind of emulate that film look. And I'm also going to actually just make an adjustment layer and drag it above. And I also have another preset in there called film look and you just put it on the adjustment layer. It tells you where to put it. And I think that saves the footage a little bit. It kind of washes out that darkness of the footage itself. It's a little bit red, so we can go back into our actual Lumetri color footage itself. Maybe drag some of that out just a little bit. And there we have it. We have that filmic look over our footage. Let's go ahead and do one or two more. So I'm going to do it real quick. So let's see. This footage looks a little underexposed. Let's bring up the exposure a decent amount. And the shadows are a little dark, in my opinion. And with the blacks, just a tad. So now that we've done the correction, you can go ahead and make another adjustment layer to add back in that contrast. For the sake of it, I'm going to use a LUT basically go ahead, add back in that contrast, whatever you want. We can just add the enhance. That way we can still borrow colors. Basically the enhance LUT isn't going to change the look of it. It's just going to add that contrast back in. So you can see we've added the contrast back in without having to go through, add the curves, the contrast, all that stuff. But now let's go ahead and we can just borrow the colors from that comparison before. Let's go ahead, go to curves, wheels, and match. This is where you can add another image, another still, another music video, whatever you want to match the colors. And let's see what it looks like on this footage. And let's turn off the comparison view. I like the way that looks, honestly. We just need to bring up shadows just a bit. That's looking like some good footage. And you see how quick we were able to color grade and fix our footage. And uh, by the way, shout out to Nick Welch for letting me use some of the footage we're using in this tutorial. Really dope director. You should go follow him. I'll have him linked down below. And then if we wanted to, we could add those film halations on as well as that adjustment layer to get that filmic look. And that looks really sick on this footage because just the general theme is overall red. I really like the way that looks here. Also in this pack, I have a bunch of different looks like VHS, Hi8, Vintage Camera, Fish Eyes, all that stuff. I'll touch on those in a different video, but I just wanted to show kind of how to get that film look look because that's my favorite one color grading personally. So for this clip, this is another clip shot by Nick. The three things you're going to mainly focus on is first correcting the footage, second, adding some contrast back in, and then stylizing the footage. And I like to use a match feature. It's just so easy and I think it helps out a lot. And real quick before we end the video, I just want to show you some of the LUTs from the LUT pack if you're interested. Here is the filmic look over this footage. And let's go ahead and just try out some other LUTs on some different footage. I like this fall LUT. It like desaturates everything and it has some cool looks depending on your footage. And we could go through, there's grungy green. There's a bunch of different LUTs. I tried to make 12 different LUTs. I didn't want to go too crazy where you have to choose through 50 of them. There's 12 good ones that are going to look good on all your footage. So that's the way I went through and made the LUTs. I just wanted them to be as useful as possible. Go to teal and orange. Had to do our own teal and orange version. I know a lot of people like that color grade. If you're interested, I'll have it linked down below as well as the whole essential all-in-one bundle. I'd highly recommend you check it out. It's greatly appreciated if you choose to support the channel. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.